HCC EMS Field Ops is an opportunity for paramedic students, not only at our institution, but at other institutions, to come together and do scenario-based training. Uh, HCC EMS Field Ops uh, is the brainchild of our strategic planning process that we did approximately two years ago. As a group, we wanted to decide how do we make our mark in EMS education? What is it that we can do that nobody else is doing uh, in the state of Kansas? And one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to find out how we get every student in the state of Kansas to come to our program. And the answer is, is that that's not going to happen. But we are in a unique position to be of service to other community colleges. With our uh, equipment, with our facilities, with our budget, and with our students, we could invite other colleges to come spend time with our students in a scenario-based environment that prepares them for field internship and for their life as a paramedic once they're done with education. HCC's Field Ops is a one-of-a-kind operation in the state of Kansas. It gives them an opportunity to blend their skills together into a real-life situation where they use the skills and abilities that they've been trained on and the equipment that they've been trained to use. There's a lot of reasons why we do field ops. The first one is, is that we enhance uh, the educational effectiveness of our students. We have the opportunity to enhance the educational effectiveness of other community colleges that are teaching paramedic as well. And then we also give an avenue to EMS agencies and uh, professional uh, organizations to have the chance to recruit Kansas paramedics. What's interesting about HCC Field Ops is the amount of people from all walks of life and different approaches in EMS that really want to participate with our field ops. And not only are our students involved and our faculty and staff both full-time and part-time, but we have EMS agencies that want to come, they want to participate, uh, they want to be part of something that's this unique, but they also want to have the opportunity to recruit. Agencies such as EMSA from Tulsa, AMR from Topeka, Johnson County Medac, Lawrence Douglas Fire, Reno County EMS, uh, and the list goes on and on. We also have individuals, the Red Cross, they come out and uh, feed our students uh, lunch, paramedics on their days off, uh, wanting some continuing education or just wanting to be part of something as unique as this. So it's amazing how many different people are involved and who wants to be involved. And that's something that continually each year grows and uh, we have to manage. The thing I've noticed that's remarkable about field ops and even having been the chairman two years in a row is that it works. And it's kind of fun that morning that it, you know it should work, but you're really wondering, and then about nine or 10, we've actually run a bunch of calls and it's actually functioning. You can't believe this thing is off the ground, and then away it goes. What are you talking about, man? What do you get shot? Yeah, I don't know how we got yeah, shot, Yeah, you get shot with a gun. I don't know how we got Field shot, Ops man. is located at Hutchinson Community College's South Campus. And for those who aren't aware where our South Campus is at, we're near Yoder, Kansas. And we're actually on an old naval base. And the neat part about our field ops and our location is that we are essentially in a very wide open space with very few neighbors. And so our abilities to run scenarios for our students, full dress rehearsal, lights and sirens, in an ambulance with screaming fire trucks and, and our actual ER, really makes our environment really unique compared to just about any other program. The value of the experience is, is this provides real life scenario training, as real as we can get it anyway, so that they can directly take what they've learned during the scenarios and apply it to their man, jobs. You just get out of here. Hey. Get out. Man, you Calm just down. need to leave. Calm down. Field ops currently is two days. Now we're debating that a lot. What is best? Is it two half days and one full day? We're just not really sure as we are getting bigger every year, what is our best plan for that? Currently, they usually meet the first day early in the morning and then we run calls into the evening. And we tend to just work with the standard, typical calls and generate a lot of them, up into the tune of well over, uh, about 108 over two days, and I think 88 the first day. And so there's a lot that gets done. Whereas in the second day, we tend to allow them to really experience some of the abnormal calls, like plane crashes and those types of things, and bring in some of our really impressive resources, like our uh, aeromedical people as well. I see field ops in about five years continuing to improve in realism and in an experience for the paramedic student 
that can really help them to cement the skills and abilities that they've learned in the classroom. I want on that truck and I want it out of here now. The future of field ops is very exciting to me. If I'm an EMS agency director and uh, I'm constantly looking for new paramedics and I have a recruiting budget, I want to make sure that I get the, the best bang for my buck. And that's the beauty of HCC Field Ops and the vision that we have for it. When we reach our ultimate goal, all nine community colleges in the state of Kansas who are doing paramedic education will be participating in our joint community college field ops. So as an outside person or somebody looking to recruit somebody to work for my service, what a great opportunity, not only for the students, but for all the agencies to have all of the paramedic students in one location in the state of Kansas at one given time. The opportunities for our students now broadens from just locally and within the state to not only nationally but internationally. If we have that big of a collection of students together, then we believe that uh, people from all over the world will actually come to recruit our students from the state of Kansas. Man, this car just quick, quick, quick all over the place right now for people.